guys, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. I'm gonna give you guys the second day competition report from here at Truman Lake for the Toyota Series Tournament and sort of explain to you guys how I'm catching them and hopefully it'll help you guys catch some fish down the road here. Real quick before we get started here, just wanted to give you guys the daily reminder, please hit that view products tab that's on the uh, start of the video. You'll see a little icon that says view products. Uh, probably just on your cell phone. I don't know if you can see it on your TV, but it's just a bunch of products I think you guys might be interested in. Every time you click a, click on one product and just look at it, the channel gets uh, 20 cents, so that's much appreciated here. Okay, guys, day two, I'll give you guys a rundown. Yesterday, if you guys watched the tournament report, you know how the day went. It was sort of a nightmare. I wound up uh, losing eight keepers and caught two that weighed five and a half pounds and was in 60-something place after yesterday. So anyway, today what the what the plan is, is I had two primary areas in this tournament and I'm gonna go through it real quick here and I'm gonna tell you how I caught them. But I had two primary areas and yesterday I spent about 80% of my day in my in my first area, didn't and lost seven keepers, didn't catch any way keepers. And then the, the about 20% of the day, I went to my secondary area where I wind up losing one and catching two. So. I started in my secondary area today where I caught those two late in the day yesterday and um, fished in there. I was, I was first flight, so I fished in there like probably two hours and just caught a couple non-keepers. I couldn't believe it. I really thought they'd be biting good right off the bat, you know, getting in there first thing in the morning. But caught only caught two keepers and I fished through some, pulled some really good stretches in there, fished through what I would thought was some key water. So at that point, there was quite a few boats sort of in the area coming in there and it didn't feel right. So I said, man, I'm going to run back down where, you know, my primary area where I lost all those fish yesterday. And, you know, hopefully I can get them on and get them in the boat. So I get down there, start fishing, and it's just 10 inch or 12 inch or 10 inch or 12 inch. Or, and then the drum showed up and it was just a drum whack down. Guys, if you guys want to catch some drum or white bass, shoot me a message because I can... I can set you up with drum and white bass. It was another epic day of drum and white bass. So um, pulling through that same area, it's just like all I could catch was just, you know, 10 to 13 inches on this area. I could not, if, for whatever reason, I could not get any keepers down it. Everything looked good. We had a little bit of breeze, a little bit of wind, and those diesel trucks with those aftermarket things on there are really noisy. But, uh, Everything looked good. There wasn't any boats in the area. And um, I pulled the, one of my best stretches there and pro probably 10 non-keepers and uh, didn't catch any keepers. And I started working farther back in the creek. And at that point, I just started practicing because I had about three, probably three hours left to fish in the day. I started working farther back up in the creek and it was the same thing. White bass, drum, 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 white bass, 13 inch largemouth, drum, 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 14 inch largemouth just constantly catching and unhooking fish, but no keepers. So to make a long story short, guys, I did not catch one today. I got my butt kicked here. I got no excuses whatsoever. I just got my butt handed to me in this tournament. Zero fish today, zero keepers, absolutely sucked. But anyway, to help you guys out here, I am gonna show you what I caught them on the first two days of the tournament and what I lost them all on yesterday. Should have had about 14 pounds yesterday. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna go over the baits and explain a little bit right here. Okay on. guys, here's the three primary baits that I used in the tournament. Um, th as you can see this right here, dr this is drum slime. I got, my boat is completely slimed out with drum slime. It's everywhere. Uh, I gotta be going to the car wash pretty soon here. But my primary bait guys for numbers, th this is, I'll, I'll, shocked to the I lost most of them but this was my primary numbers bait and what I caught them on a lot of the keepers in practice the mega bass z2 crankbait um, I just basically parallel and rocky banks with it catching a ton of fish on the thing and like I said caught about 11 pounds on it the first day of practice um, yesterday I caught my two uh, I caught my two that I weighed the five and a half two that weighed five and a half on it yesterday and lost that good one um, fishing it on 12 pound test Seaguar and Vizix line just parallel on the banks. This is the bait right here that I lost a lot of those fish on yesterday. This Mega Bass Diamante walking topwater. Um, they come up and blast this thing parallel on the banks to uh, around standing timber and just for whatever reason they were jumping off. But just this bone colored Mega Bass Diamante. And then this is, uh, I caught three or four fish on this and I lost a three pounder on the Blockadol's Gil Jig yesterday. Um, 
this is the, just the zoom super chunk on it. Uh, one thing guys about the head here, you can see the paint chipped. We have fixed that on the block at old school jig. We have a new paint system and you can take the things now and throw them on concrete and not chip them. This is one of the old ones here, but if you guys have some that got chipped here, we have completely fixed that problem with it. But five eighths ounce, uh, like I said, this, I pitched and flipped this around shallow stumps and lay downs. Okay guys, that's pretty much how it went down this week. Uh, you know, looking back in retrospect, if I had it to do over again, probably the main thing I would have done is I'd have probably practiced more because I only got a little over two days of practice in for this tournament. And Truman Lake is massive. I mean, it's a giant lake. You, you can't slop through it. And if I had maybe four days of practice to it, I could have hunted some different parts of the lake. So I sort of felt that maybe the two days of practice, you know, hurt me a little bit on that. But overall, you know, I don't have any excuses. Like I said, I just uh, did not get on this tournament, didn't have a good tournament. Uh, you know, just take, take away and, you know, learn from what I've learned here. And that's the thing about bass fishing is every day on the water is a learning experience. Even, even the bad days, like today when I didn't weigh keeper in, there's still an opportunity there to learn, you know, something that you can use on your next trip out. And, uh, doesn't matter if you catch them if you don't catch them we all we all learn from our failures and our successes so again guys really appreciate you guys tuning in this week it really means a lot to me that uh, you guys are following me in this tournament i got one more tournament left for the season i got the bassmaster open in october at lake hartwell so uh other than that i'll just keep putting the videos out and we'll get ready for that one next month talk to you guys later see you.